a nice sunset, huh, Eddie? Mm. Think it's worth doing the camp dishes for a week? Whoa! What's that? All summer. Now Java's got the right idea. You'll be the best dressed French chef in Paris. French chef in training. You think I'm just gonna lay around? Wake up and smell the suntan lotion, sis. Between riding the waves and partying on the beach, I'm gonna need another vacation to recover from this vacation. Oh, by the way, how's your novel coming? I could use some mindless trash to read on the beach. <laughs> You wouldn't like it. Too many big words and no aliens or mutant robots to cater to your lowbrow tastes. No problem. I know just how to spice it up. When all else fails, just add some slime. Ah! Martin, are you trying to ruin my manuscript? What are you talking about? I'm trying to make it better. Ugh, give me that. When I get a hold of you, you'll be vacationing from a hospital bed. Senator, Mom probably wants to wish us bon voyage. Uh, by the way, that's French, Java. Oh. You didn't have to bring us to the center. We wouldn't have left on vacation without saying goodbye. Vacation? Well, it's something like that. You're going to be CITs. CIT? What does that stand for? A cosmic intelligence tracer? Commander of intergalactic tacticians? Try counselor in training. You're going to summer camp. <gasps> summer, summer camp? camp? That's right. We've had reports of strange glowing lights at a remote summer camp up north. You two will investigate undercover as camp counselors, and Java will be the camp cook. We have to give up our vacations to look after a bunch of kids this summer camp? Major drag. Aurora Borealis! No need to get snippy, Martin. No, Aurora Borealis! The Northern Lights! Streamers of light in the night sky above the North Magnetic Pole! Ah, uh, Martin's right! That's what the kids must have seen! Not likely. We've confirmed there's a high level of paranormal activity in the area. This is a real mission, you two, and it's more important than your vacations. Is that clear? Any questions? Just one. What's that cool glowing orb? Some kind of advanced alien technology? It's a sun lamp. I'm working on my base tan before taking my vacation at the beach. exactly the summer vacation I hoped for. It's not so bad. Except for the fact that you're here, too. Seems quiet and peaceful. Those are code words for dull and boring. You must be the new CITs. Hi, I'm Nancy, head counselor. Martin Mystery, secret agent... I mean, uh, CIT extraordinaire. 
And I was just telling my sister Diana what an awesome camp you've got here. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. This is Java, the new mm. cook. Martin, this is the cabin for you and your boys. Diana, you and your girls are across the road. CIT has only supervised two campers each. You'll meet them and the other counselors at supper tonight. Any questions? Actually, we were just wondering what you know about these mysterious lights. Oh, don't worry about those campfire tales. The kids probably saw the northern lights and got freaked out. You know, it's like we're both on the same wavelength. Ah! <sighs> Didn't two boys nearly get sucked under the water in a canoe? <laughs> Fell out of a canoe is more like it. And then they made up a lame story about the lake bubbling. We'll see if a week of kitchen duty makes them think twice about taking a canoe without permission. And there was nothing strange about the canoe? Hmm? That's it right there. <laughs> Looks like a normal canoe to me. Come on, Java. I'll show you the kitchen. What kind of food do you like to make? French. I hate to admit it, but she's right. No claw or bite <sighs> marks. And we're stuck here wasting perfectly good vacation time. Cool. There's some kind of sticky goo in the bottom. You are activated. Slime scan selected. It's hmm. probably just tree sap. Probably, but we better send Billy a sample anyway, just to cover our butts. And if they don't find anything but tree sap, maybe Mom will change her mind and let us out of here. Where are you going? I thought I'd take the boys on a camp out at the lake. I want to see for myself if it really was just the northern lights that they saw. Or something else. The campers thought the noise was a raccoon. When they looked out of the tent, the phantom bit their heads right off! <gasps> ah, the venomous spider bean of Balang. I thought this story sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. You heard this ghost story? Oh, it's not a ghost. It's a fanged alien that preys on other living beings by injecting a venom that dissolves their organs into a sugary goo. Oh, huh, an organ dissolving alien. That's pretty cool, if it's true. Oh, it's true, all right. Want to see my scar? Huh? Yeah, nasty little arachnid got me good before we trapped him. Let me tell you how it went down. So, after leaving a string of liquefied victims in his wake, the spider bean was subdued, tamed, and trained to flip beef at a burger joint in Phoenix. Well, that's it. Time for bed. Let's get into our tents. Uh, could we sleep out here close to you? I, I mean, close to the fire? You want to sleep outside under a starry sky, huh? Sure, why not? Maybe we'll even get to see some UFOs! Silly, I told you it was tamed and working at a burger place. Hmm. Oh, okay, give me the flashlight. <sighs> ah, my fault, I guess. I shouldn't have told them such a scary one. <gasps> Daryl? Eddie? where it knocked me down. Martin, look! I found this on a branch at the edge of the clearing. Shh! Listen! Hi, guys. It's just me. I've got the results of our analysis on your sample. So what do we know about it? That it isn't tree sap. And that's about all we know. It doesn't match any known substance on the planet. That reminds me. I better check out the sample we just found. Sand scan selected. It's similar to some kinds of insect secretions, but again, it's not anything found on Earth. I'll take it back to the center for a more detailed analysis. 
Come on, let's keep looking for the boys. I don't think we'll find them, Martin. We're better off keeping tabs on those counselors. You might be right. For once. Huh? <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Closed up and dark. Think they're gone? Look, lights on. Sounds like somebody's home. Huh? See anything? Well, either the counselors are building a really bad model of the Eiffel Tower, or they're worshiping some kind of glowing obelisk. Mm, someone coming. I think there's more than one. It's glowing too bright. I can't see anything. <gasps> We're surrounded. Make a break for it. Let's go. <laughs> they haven't made a plastic wrap that can hold me. What? What happened? While you were sleeping, your novel got published, and now you're a world-famous author! Really? Uh... No! <laughs> What'd I do? Hmm... Where are we? Must be some kind of shed. Whatever grabbed us at the cabin back there wrapped us up like leftovers in this nasty plastic wrap. Martin, why aren't you helping Java? I'm trying to find the symbol from the obelisk on the legend decks. Oh, here it is. It's the symbol of Sauros, a reptilian god that demanded the life force of young people about a thousand years ago. Wait, there's another entry for the same symbol from a thousand years earlier, and a thousand years before that from all over the Earth. But this stretchy blue doesn't match anything we've ever experienced on Earth. Maybe he's not a god, but an alien. Yeah, an alien with a thousand-year life cycle. Mm. <laughs> They've got the girls! You watch activated. I got her selected. need to work on their people skills. being an alien. We're on a thousand-year-old spaceship. Huh? Too much junk. Stay down. 
There's a light up ahead. Diana's looked better. Java no like this place. Oh, he's waking up! Kids, did you know that four rambunctious teenagers have enough excess energy to power a spaceship? Once Soros raises it out of the lake, then he can feed on the whole world. We've got to stop him. <laughs> Counselor oath to protect young campers? Uh, I guess not. So I'll have to do it myself. is draining all Soros's energy. It's not enough. The ship is still rising. One last shot. Hey, sis, how about a big hug for your brother? His energy has drained the ship. Stop rising. But we gotta hurry before it sinks. Uh, whatever you did, nice going. <laughs> Where are we? What's happening? Where are we? Never mind. We gotta get out of here now. was a lizard. Ugh. But now that it's drained of all its power, it's just a big doorstop. Well, I say we've earned a vacation, don't you? I think we're about to find out from the only person whose opinion matters. Hi, Mom. Looks like our work here is done. Time to hit the beach. They were really awesome. They even risked being turned into aliens like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. 
Possessed by an alien. Oh, how terrible. I'd say some people around here deserve a nice long rest, all expenses paid by the center. Awesome! Don't be jealous. We're just taking them back to the center to, shall we say, adjust their huh? memories. Huh? So long. Have a nice summer. Uh -huh. uh, have a nice summer? Wait! Who's gonna look after the kids? Huh? Exactly! Love water, make money nests, and can fly. Maybe not. They have long, graceful necks. Oh, sorry, little no-neck man. Yeah, yeah, we know. A new episode of Captain Flamingo, Sunday at 8.30.